At five, one of the city of St. Joseph's summer tourist attraction is shutting down. Crews will start repairing the Whirlpool Compass Fountain on Wednesday. WSBT's Denise Bowen is live at the fountain right now. And Denise, what's wrong with it? Rick City officials say the caulking in this entire system is bad and needs to be replaced. It's a little after 5 o'clock. The sun is out. Normally, this place would be filled with dozens of kids. The fountain's not even working right now. Uh, $14,000 worth of repairs will start on Wednesday. The fountain will be closed for as long as two weeks during the height of the tourist season. It's a typical summer day in July. Kids running around St. Joseph's Whirlpool's Compass Fountain. They said you have to go see this fountain. The kids will love it. We thought, great, we'll have them get all cleaned off right now before we leave and get in the car. There's only one problem. For parts of the day, there's no water running in it. They're bugged. Leaks in the five-year-old fountain's water retention system force the city to reduce the hours of operation and to limit what parts of the fountain spray water. It wasn't working that much. So when you found out that it wasn't working, how did you guys feel? Sad. Yes, sad. Especially sad that the fountain's highlight, eight water cannons, are not working. I had attempted to take my children and nieces here on multiple occasions, and we noticed that the cannons were not shooting. After going on the city's website to find out what was wrong and not finding any answers, Lisa Altman wrote a letter to the local paper. We would enjoy coming down in the evening and watching the sunset and the cannons. It's a really beautiful sight. A sight that won't likely be seen again until perhaps early August. So the game plan is to take out all the coffee and replace it. City officials have now put up these signs to let visitors know the fountain will be closed Wednesday in order to start repairs. We probably didn't explain to the public what was going on with the fountain as well as we could. I'm glad that it's being addressed and that, that we know what's going on that it, and I'm very happy that it's being fixed. Have him move. Now the city has posted their hours of op the city has posted their new hours of operation and it says from 4 until 5:30 uh, it should be operational but as you can see behind me the fountain is not running it's been very frustrating for families so I contacted city officials what they've told me is that the fountain automatically, the system shuts down automatically when it runs low on water, and then it has to wait for at least a half an hour or longer for the catch basin in the retention set, uh, system to fill up again with water. So it's been really frustrating. Families coming, wanting to enjoy the fountain, and then finding that during the day it's not even operational. I will tell you again, Wednesday they're supposed to start repairs here. If they have dry conditions and if the caulking can dry thoroughly, they tell me that it will be reopened in less than two weeks, cannon and all. Reporting from St. Joseph, Denise Bone, WSBT, Channel 22 News.